So as we get started today this video is divided into chapters. If you wanna skip at any point just look at the sliding bar underneath the plating window and you can see the chapters to skip ahead. Welcome back to the Crochet Cradles. Those are my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. Today we have just the handles for this particular video. So we have other types of uh, handles where you're going across back and forth and then you fold it and then you crochet along. This one here starts off with a flat edge of going back and forth for a set period and then you're gonna go a continuous spiral all the way down to the other side. So between this bottom section and before this starts here is 25 inches and then we just open it up again. So what I'm about to do is that I'm actually filming this bag right now. So I'm gonna take you to that tutorial because of this, that, that tutorial we're ready to do the bags uh, handles as well. So that's where we're gonna pick up and we're gonna begin right now. So let's begin to do the bag. We're gonna be using a five millimeter size H crochet hook today. We are double stranding the Karen cotton cakes. So the double stranding will make it stronger and we're going to create a long tail so that you can use that tail to sew it to the bag later. So create a slip knot, just put the two yarns together. It's from the same ball for me so I'm using the interior um, strand and the exterior strand from the same ball. Once your slip knot is on, you're going to chain eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's do row number one. Second chain from the hook, so just count back one and two. Turn it over and get the back hump of the chain. It will just look nicer and I need you to single crochet across your chain. So by doing the second chain from the hook, you'll end up with seven single crochets altogether. So seven is the operative number in case you have to count stitches later. So row one is done. So what I need you to do is that we need to do a rows, turn it around first and do rows number two, three, four, and five the exact same way. So just chain up one and do one single crochet in each of the stitches going across and then turn it. So please do now rows number two, three, four, and five the same way just back and forth with single crochets and I'll be right back in just a moment. I'm now coming up to the end of row number five. So at the end of the row I don't want you to turn the work. Okay so you should be able to count five rows. So one, two, three, four, five. So now we're going to just flip up the other side. So just come, coming around and now you're gonna go in a continuous spiral. So starting in the very first stitch, you're just going to single crochet and this will pull that into a circle. So all you have to do now is just go in a continuous spiral for however long you want it. For the bag that I have, which is a generous size handle but it's not overly huge, is 25 inches between the top of this section here all the way before you start doing the opening on the other side. So you're just gonna put your hook into the wind and just go in a continu uh, continuous spiral. For myself what I decided to do is just once in a while just to make sure that I can count that there's still seven stitches when I'm doing a circle. And so if the thickness of the, the concept changes then you know it's a problem. So just immediately jump on over. So once I jump over the first time I wanna count the number of stitches just to verify that there's still seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And you can see that I'm missing a stitch. So that means I jumped too far when I jumped. Okay so I wanna jump back one. I'm gonna leave this in the tutorial because it's it's better for me to leave in a mistake like that than it is to pretend that I'm perfect. So I'm just gonna count again. Make sure that I have seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So all I have to do now is just do in a continuous spiral. Just check the seven once in a while just to make sure that you're okay and just um, get to the inches that you want. So this particular one I have to keep spiraling around until I can get 25 inches non-stretch just relax laying the tape measure down laying this down and measuring it. So please uh, come back here in just a few moments uh, for me uh, in, in just a few moments and just to um, recap because we have to open up on the other side. So we'll begin to do that. So next. you're gonna continue to spiral around until you get to the uh, distance that you want. So from the edge that I started to the opening here is 25 inches and then I just finished the final five rows. So what we're going to do then is that once you're ready to do that and let's just say we're ready to do that. So just say I have my 25 inches between the here and here. So in order to open it back up then you just turn it around, chain one and you will single crochet across the seven. So one and count them, make sure two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
three, four, five, six, and seven. Now to answer your question, these ha opening happens to be at the same spot. If it's not, you can just uh, simply just twist the handle because it's so long you can twist it a little bit um, in order to get it and it shouldn't uh, really misshape anything. So once you have your seven there, that's considered row one of five. So then you turn your work, chain up one and just do single crochet is going back. So you need to do five rows of this. So we've already done one, this is two and then do three four and five and meet me back here in just a moment. So I'm bringing back the main sample. So once you have your five rows done and it's completely just leave a long tail because you can use that to sew it down to the project. So we have long tails on both sides and what we want to do is position this in the bag so that it makes sense. So what I want to do is that I wanna lay it down onto the bag and determine where I would like to place it and that's what we're gonna do now. So let's position the handle. So you wanna just make sure the bag is laying flat because of the way that it's shaped on the bottom. You will see that. And so what I like to do is that you use the pitcher. It doesn't give you a dimension but use a pitcher to determine where to put the handle. So what I like to do is put my hand out and this is gonna be the start. So I'm going to put one right here and I wanna lay it so that the flat area opens completely up and will be on top of this idea. Once I have that established, I want to just grab another little crochet hook and we're just gonna use spare yarn. So I wanna do four pieces and just carefully going in. I just wanna mark it where I'm gonna put it. And that'll hold it in that position until I'm ready to sew it in. Okay, so my hands are pretty about equal on both sides I believe. So this side I wanna turn it so that this is facing down. So I wanna make sure this handles, if I have, am twisting it, it's not gonna be weird shaped. So just make sure that it will have the beautiful arch and using my hand just to the edge. That's right about there somewhere. And I wanna do the same with the other side. But once you have the one side done, just turn it over and do the other side. And so just starting with the two strands, use them together and you're gonna wanna use a needle. So I just switched out my needle to something that I know will work better than that really sharp one. And so my goal is, is to go across the bottom. So just kinda going in and out using the same color. And I just wanna kinda start it and going in and out. And I'll give you a little secret here in a moment and then coming back it. So just kind of matching it up and I wanna have, make sure that it comes down straight as well. Like down the, the angle there. So my goal here is to go all the way across, up and then back across and back down so I do a complete circle and then I'm going to go in an X formation up and then down and then an X formation going the other way. And the reason why I'm doing that is that it's gonna be more stable and it will be a lot stronger. So once you get enough of this sewn into position, you can move those, you can take off that stitch marker and just don't be cheap about attaching this. Mean, meanwhile, don't, uh, make sure you put in the work because all the weight will be resting on these, on these handles. So once you get to the other side, just start going up. And make your way all the way to the top edge. I can feel it in behind. And then I'm gonna go back across. So I'm gonna go across and then down and do my angles. So I'll be back in just a moment. So I've gone all the way around and I went up and then I came down and then I went up. So at the end here I'm just going to turn it over and just weave in my ends. So I'm going to do it so that I'm gonna tie this to a knot first. So staying on the inside. Pull nice and tight. And then I wanna drag this yarn underneath. 
three times. So just going across once, just stay right behind the handle or in front of the handle I should say. And then go back across again. And then finally the third time is the charm. So going back and forth three times, this should never fall out on you. And then you can safely cut it down into the project. And therefore your handle then would be attached. So I need you to do that with all the handles and I'll be right back in just a moment. So I've now sewn in everything and um, this is one of the nicest bags that I've seen on yarnspirations.com. I really loved it. It's designed by Julia. Um, I like the texture a lot. Like a lot. It's not for the weak minded, the people that just want like simple uh, stitches. Um, but the, this looks like feathers to me and it looks amazing. And I said as I mentioned I did screw up a little bit before. But uh, I'm really okay with this and now look who's back from the big city. <laughs> That's a sex in the city quote. So um, I love this bag. This has been a lot of fun and uh, Wendy's the one that got me hooked on this uh, particular pattern and she knows that I'm a sucker for texture. So I was like, like darn Wendy. Wendy, Wendy. <laughs> we have to have a talk girl. Don't show me these fabulous patterns because you know I'm gonna wanna hook it. So that's it for today. We hope you've had a good one and until next time it's Mikey on behalf of the Crusher Crowd and your inspirations.com. See ya. Bye bye. <laughs>